Thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two. Um, you know, of course, that Celebrating Act Two is for all of us over 50, kind of an arbitrary landmark. Uh, the idea being that we are all living longer, healthier lives, and Art and I want to share with you all the good advice we can come up with about enjoying every minute of your senior years. Yeah, and, and part of it is back to that we are living through it. So uh, we are pioneering. Uh, we know where some of the potholes are. We don't know where they all are and where some of the really good stuff is. And we're sharing that not only from our own experiences, but experiences of, of others uh, who we interview all the time and hope you're enjoying them. But um, there was actually an article I just read recently that sort of broke, broke down the uh, old, if you will, or the second half of your life into uh, further categories, which I think John and I are finding are absolutely true and are worth uh, thinking about uh, because there are different sections of them. And I want to read uh, uh, the young old, the middle old, and the old old. Uh, and the definition here is young old is uh, 65 to 74. Uh, okay. A middle old is uh, 75 to 84. And the old old is 85 and above. And what it really is talking about here, really addressing, and we know this to be true, most of, I think, our audience does as well, is that while we are living longer, healthier lives, there are things that begin to change a bit. Uh, so sure. that when we're over 85, our mobility is even under the best of circumstances, is going to probably be much more limited than it was when we were 65. And uh, we need to plan for that. Uh, one of the ways we plan for that to get the most out of it is maybe adopt new uh, diet and exercise so that we have greater mobility for longer periods of time because uh, we, we do have some control over that, uh, going to, to the gym and things like that. Uh, but also, uh, uh, when we understand that as we go through these different phases, we want to make some, want to think more about things like uh, 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 living arrangements, whether it be in place with help or uh, 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 some uh, uh, societies have multi-generational uh, responsibilities where the younger people take care of the older people, uh, not so much in America. Uh, where we get sent off to pasture or to a assisted living facility. And perhaps when we're young enough, we can plan on it so that we can have better choice of where we're going to uh, wind up. Uh, so uh, it was really an insightful article about that not all old, if you will, is the same. By the way, I personally feel all the stages of the second half have exciting opportunities and uh, activities and things that we're involved in. But we do recognize that there are differences in our physical and other capabilities that uh, we need to pay attention to. And this article really highlighted that for me. Oh, there we go, John. So <laughs> oh, say something. Say something. You got John. anything else to say, Art? No, I mean, no. No, I've been, I'm wait, waiting for you to raise your hand to say, hey, wait, what about me? I only comment after your filibuster. My only comment is that I would take exception with their the actual ages that they give. Mm. I think it's really true. Um, you don't feel like you're old until maybe 65. You don't even recognize your uh, aging and, and uh, until 65. After all, the retirement age in the United States is now on a practical level closer to 70 than it is 65, sure. once 62. But I would argue with that because I think the fact of the matter is, and we use 50 if you're over 50, we want people to recognize that they are getting older even before they feel it and yep. to plan for it and enjoy it. So I would take ex exception with some of their specific age points. Uh, but I think it's true. I think you're, you, know, you hit your 60s and you don't feel old. You hit your 70s and you don't feel like you're ancient, but you recognize that you're older and you have some limitations. And I think somewhere in your 80s, um, you, you recognize that you just can't do what you did. Yeah. Uh, but we are living longer. And I think it's 
it's not uncommon to see 90 year olds at all. You know, just, just take a look at uh, uh, the uh, TV programs that have the in memorials every year. And uh, the, the people, uh, the ages are in the 80s and 90s. So, yeah, uh, as opposed to the 50s, 60s, and 70s that uh, occurred when we were young in our uh, uh, adult years. When we were the 30s and 40s. When we were young old, you mean? Yeah, no, no, no. When we were pre, pre young old. Pre young old. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, we've said many times, and certainly I, I, I remember that many of my parents' friends, uh, uh, if they were 59 or 60 and they died, uh, that, yeah. was, that was a pretty normal thing. Uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, Social Security originally was based on the fact that most people didn't live to be 62 or 65, so they, yeah. didn't, they weren't going to pay out any money after that period of time. So yeah. things have changed. Which maybe is why Social Security and Medicare are in such trouble, because yeah. we're all living too long. Yeah. So at any rate, your, listen. Help America. Do what do what you can to help America in Social Security and get out of here. <laughs> anyway, I, find out whether you're young, old, or middle, old, or old, old, or whatever it is, and adjust your expectations accordingly. I think. Yeah. And our commitment to you is that we're going to keep finding people. Uh, and uh, certainly I'm committed with my 25 year rolling plan to consistently as I, I get into my uh, 80s and 90s and hundreds uh, to bring you stories on how you can best cope with uh, with that. And uh, John and I are committed to helping you through every step of your 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 youthful olds. That's right. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.